Hi and welcome back and in this lecture we will be building our first augmented reality application using ARKit in iOS. So I've already created a separate controller called Simple Box View Controller and it pretty much looks exactly like the default view controller that comes with when you create an augmented reality app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start removing different stuff that we will not be using like did receive memory warning and all of these session uh, delegate functions because just wanted to make it a little bit more clear. Now another thing is that the default one, the view controller .sif, comes with an IB outlet on a storyboard, which is connected to the scene view, which is of type ARSCN view. Now I'm not going to be using an IB outlet. I'm just going to dynamically inject the scene view into the view. And the reason for this is I'm building, I will be building one single storyboard and then injecting other view controller as we move forward. All right. So self dot scene view equals to a r s c n view and the frame will be equals to the current view frame. And finally we can add our scene view into the main the, the scene view into our main view or the root view. The other thing you will notice on line number 30 is that I'm using or by default it is actually reading the ship.scn which is ship.scene. Well we won't be using that because we will be building a simple cube and we'll try to display that particular cube in augmented reality mode. All right, so let's get started. Let's create a 3D box. I'm going to call it a box equals to SCN box. And SCN box takes three arguments, the width, the height, and the length. And the last one is the radius. Now, all of these width, height, and length are in meters. So don't be go putting like 10,000 or 100 even. So it, I'm going to put like really, really small things, really small width, really small height, and really small length. Do I want my box to have a corner radius? No, not really. So I'm going to pass zero. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a material. Now, a material is something that you can attach to your cube. A material can be an image, and a material can also be a color. So material.diffuse.contents equals to uicolor.red. After the material, we can create a scene kit node. Now, this is the important part because in scene kit, all you're going to do is add nodes that represent a particular shape and up on which a different material has been applied. So, in the end, it is the nodes that you are adding to the scene kit view. So, let's call it scene node.geometry is box and then node.geometry.materials equals to the material that we just created and finally node.position equals to. Now the position of course we are working in a 3D space so a position is actually a vector and in which you will have to provide the x, y as well as z. So x, how much do I want it to move on the left or right? Left is being uh, positive and right being negative. Um, I don't want it to move anywhere. So zero is good. A little bit high on the y, I want it to be a little bit higher. And then z, I think is the most important one because it says how far you want to put this box. So I'm gonna say, well, not that far but just 0 0.5. Now this is 0 0.5 meters, remember that. And finally, I'm going to add the new node that I just created, the box node, which is node, into my, uh, as a child of the root node. All right. 
All right, so let's go ahead and run our application and see how it actually displays the node. And there we go. See how easy it is to display things. Now, if I move around a little bit, you can see, uh, let me not tilt the phone. So you can see that I can look at the top of the, uh, of the cube and I can look on the sides of the cube. I can look around the cube and it's definitely a 3D cube. I can even go a little bit under the cube and I can look around it and it's floating uh, minus 0 0.5 meters distance from where I'm sitting. All right, and see how easy it is to create a small cube. With only a couple of lines of code, you were able to do that. All right, so that's pretty much it for our first lecture of implementing the uh, very simple box application using ARKit and Swift. I hope you like it and try it out. It's really, really fun to, uh, to create these virtual objects and then put it into our real world. And in the next lecture, we're going to take little different approach and going to create multiple objects that can be put into the screen. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much.